Today, we're going to figure out the best way to make chicken wings. This is a recipe that needs to happen. We can't be going out to restaurants and eating chicken wings so much anymore. It's too expensive. So what is the best way to make chicken wings at home so it's the juiciest as ever and more crispy than you could ever even imagine with all of the tools that are most likely in your kitchen at home? I'm gonna test several different methods to figure out and taste test along the way. What is the best home cooked chicken wing recipe? With these pure Publix chicken wings. We're gonna start with the process of breaking down a chicken wing when you buy it, not frozen, not already cut. It's actually quite easy, you just need the right tools. A nice looking cutting board, a sharp knife, the ability to recognize joints and the bone. You don't wanna cut through the bone, we just wanna break the joints and cut through the tendons and the skin just to be able to break apart the wings. It's about the cooking process itself. And maybe I might throw in a special sauce recipe. Keep watching the whole video till the end so you can see the sauce recipe. Mm, 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 mm. Hey everybody, I hope you're as excited as I am because my brand new hashtag French Fry Club collection is finally here. Let's take a look. Check out this all over print. Crop tops, the shirts, the sweaters, look at the hat, and the mug. Whether you're cooking up a storm in the kitchen, going through the drive through French fries perfect thing to represent. There's something here for all food lovers. We all eat fries. It's easy to join the club. Go to shophealthyjunkfood.com or check out the shelf that's on YouTube. And when you're rocking the merch, don't forget to tag at healthyjunkfood and hashtag french fry fan club. I can't wait to see how you guys put the outfits together. Maybe it'll be like this. It looks really good, I know. Our book is also available. HJF presents fast food hacks to save you money. Thank you guys for your support. So much more to come. Man, this does make me hungry. After I process the meat, we're gonna try boiling, baking, air frying, and deep frying. Just to do a taste test to figure out which one tastes the best. Let's just do it and find out. Okay, so I got the chicken wings here. It is the wing. But the idea is not to let these little wings fly away. No, we're keeping them. Cut the tendon here, which will give us our drumette. And then here is the wingette cut right down here in the center. And what I like to do is do a little pop and lock it just to release it. Clean crack. Just take the knife in between the joints, cut right through, and there you have little wingette. I'm also gonna cut off this little end bit here. Cut through the skin a little bit, find that joint, and rip through the joints and just cut it down. It just takes a little bit of willpower. You can't be really afraid of any knife techniques here. Chicken wings, broken down. Now I just gotta do that a bunch more times. Here's a time lapse of me doing it. Each of these wings have a different cook time. If it's gonna be in the oven, I'm going 400 degrees, 10 minutes boiling, 10 minutes in the air fryer. Let's just say about five to seven minutes in the deep fryer. Get them cooking. Pretty sure that uh, baked and boiled aren't gonna be good, but it's interesting to compare, right? There it goes. See you in 40 minutes. The temperature to 400, 15 minutes. Chicken wing in the water. That's a style of cooking I don't normally do. Let's grab some meat. Looks like the deep fryer is ready as well. Smoking. Yep, done. It's cooking. Ooh. The microwaved, the boiled, baked, air fried, and deep fried. Every method of cooking that I can do right here in my kitchen. Which one tastes the best? Let's do a taste test. And just so there's no bias on sauce, we're going in on these native it's taste. Microwave method did cook it, but it leaves the skin a little bit elastic. Probably not ideal. Let's try boiled. Really juicy in the center, but the crisp level on the outside and the skin, not doing it for me. Let's try this baked one. It's got a little bit of a darker color. The skin's a bit crispier. Juicy in the center. I like this one better than the other two. Air fry, darker in color, feeling crispier on the outside. Not as juicy as the boiled. Skin is definitely better. And now the deep fry. This by far is looking like a top wing. Don't we all know deep fried wings are good? Yes, the crispiness on here is definitely better than all the other ones, but it's kind of like drier in the center. What if you combine deep fryer and air fryer? I'm gonna take the juiciest chicken and use the crispy methods of air frying and deep frying to see if we can make the juiciest and the crispiest chicken wing. All right, guys, pause the video, grab a snack, because we're cooking more chicken wings. Oh, you couldn't be in the video. 
You like chicken. I know, that's why you came over. We're gonna go for a walk, my little fluffy muffin. These are looking boily, but this is actually happening. So we're gonna set them here to dry off a little bit. Can't be putting super watery, wet stuff into the deep fryer. And let's see that deep fried action happening over here. So now what I wanna do is take these par-cooked deep fried wings and stick them in the air fryer. But this is what food science is all about, guys. From the deep fryer to the air fryer. And I'm gonna stick a couple of these boiled wings in as well. More food testing going on. Combination methods. Yes. I also want to deep fry these boiled wings because again, the boiled wings are so juicy, but they're not crisp. Let's put them down deep. Where are they? Get crispy. We like it extra crispy. All right, y'all, time for another taste test. Is a double method required for the best wings? We're about to find out. Second round of methods. We've got the boiled and deep fried, the boiled and air fried, and the deep fried and air fried. Different colors, definitely feeling all of them being more crispy. Now for the taste test. Number one, it's juicier than a regular deep fry, but it's got the crisp that we all need. That's some crispy wing. I like it, but is it the best? Let's do the next test. Boiled and air fried, crunch test. Not as crunchy. Number one's kind of hitting home right now. This one was deep fried and then air fried, but is it still gonna maintain its juiciness? I think this one's gonna be the crispiest. There's something about when you deep fry something like the oil infusion, it's just so good. It's not as crispy as the first one. Boiled and deep fried might be the best because it leaves it with that extra crispy on the outside. The air fry kind of takes it out a little bit, which I thought that the air fryer was gonna make it even more crispy. The air fryer definitely gave it the color that's beautiful. It kind of pimp slapped the crisp out, which makes no sense because it's supposed to make it crispy. I think we have it. Guys, give it a go, boil your wings, and then put it in some hot oil, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for like a few minutes until it's extra crisp. Boom shakalaka, the best wings. Not the healthiest, but. Hey, but this wing right here, the boil and air fry. Yeah, it's not crispy at all. It's healthier though. Now that I found what I think is the best method of cooking a chicken wing, I'm gonna make a batch and I'm gonna make a sauce. I put some celery on the side and dip it in some ranch. I don't like food at all. I just like the sauce. I used to work at a pizzeria in New York where we made garbage wings and that's the recipe I'm gonna show you guys right now. It's a mixture of the best sauces to make something even better than ever. Let me show you. All you need is Frank's hot, Frank's buffalo or mild. What this is, is hot sauce, but they add like liquid butter to it. Barbecue sauce, minced garlic, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And now we're gonna stir this up. This is what you guys are gonna be looking for. Reminds me of New York. Hold on to that parm, you're gonna need it in a second. Do a little taste test. Perfect. And now I'm gonna grab the extra juicy, extra crispy wings right out of the deep fryer. That oil kinda come off the pan a little bit. Don't wanna be dripping oil all over the place. Looking so good. We're gonna bring it right over to our bowl. There they are, fully coated, looking delicious. They are ready to eat, but to make them even better, here's another step. Grab some tin foil, put them right in. Sauce and all. Now to the top of these wings, Parmesan. Wrap this up so the top is still showing a little bit. And we're gonna put this in the oven for like five minutes. Get that cheese melted, get a little more crispy on top. And then they're ready to eat. Timer's on. Chicken wing, chicken wing. We've been doing all this cooking, a little tasty, not enough eating. I'm ready to feast. While that bakes, let me show you my celery hack. Grab celery, peeler. Take celery, clean it. You can. Well, yeah, might as well wash it. Grab off a stalk, why not two? We're keeping stock in this video, aren't we? I actually learned this hack when I was at the Culinary Institute of America from one of the professors. Take the celery stalk and actually peel the exterior off because that's what the most fibrous pieces are. Have you ever crunched into a celery stick and you're like, oh, this is like so hard to eat? That's why. You'll never have that experience again. Also do this for your soups, for anything else that you do use celery for. I like to peel it, peel it. We like to peel it. You're very appealing. Now I'll grab up another knife. We're gonna slice the celery down the center and from there make little celery sticks the same size. What's up, Doc? 
We're gonna cut off the top and we're gonna cut it down long ways. Into that long ways again. We're gonna make them the same size. Looks like a nice assortment of exactly what would go on the side of chicken wings. Thank you, next. All right guys, it's ready. Let's plate it. Smells so good. Ooh, that sauce with that cheese on there. Get some carrots and celery on the plate. We're going ranch. And here it is, friends. The perfect plate of chicken wings. Oh wow, these are irresistible. It's a perfect combination of cooking techniques and this freaking bomb sauce. Not too spicy, kind of sweet. Definitely savory. Got that umami. Have you guys ever made chicken wings at home? What are your favorite sauces? Let me know in the comments. And if you try this recipe at home, let me know any modifications that you make. But I'm pretty sure I just found the best chicken wing recipe that you could ever make at home. It's so much cheaper than going out. Mm, 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 mm. And until next time, keep experimenting and keep enjoying the spice of life. Watch this, I can get the bones out so I can eat it in one bite. Just twist and pull, she comes. Boneless. There's a little too much at one time, but it's okay.